In this video, I explain factor affecting to the site selections of hydro power plant. So there is a number of factors is affect to the site selections of the hydro power plants. So following factors should be given careful consideration while selecting a site for a hydroelectric power plant. So we know that the basic working fluid used in a hydro power plant is the water. Okay. So first point is the availability of the water. Now when the water is available, then second question is arise. Where to store? Means second point is the water storage. Now after the water storage, next question is arise in our mind. Up to the which head this water is stored? Means third point is the water head. Okay. Now water is available. This water is available due to the rainy seasons. Okay. Then this question is arise from which area these water are coming. That is called as the catchment area. Means area behind the dam. It is called as the catchment area. And this catchment area is larger than the quantity of water coming is higher. Okay. Then after next is the availability of land and the types of land. Means which type of land is available. And the required quantity of the land is available. Then six point is the accessibility of site. Means the proper transportation facilities are there. So these points are considered in the accessibility of site. Distance from load center. Means the electricity produced from the hydropower plant is supplied to the some cities or some villages. Okay, So distance between the dam and the electricity supply it is called as the distance from load centers now we understand it is all the points in the detail so first point is the availability of water the availability of water at the side is the most important aspect of hydropower plant because all other designs are based on it means without water we are not able to run the hydropower plant okay and on the basis of availability of water other factor are designed it on the basis of availability of water means uh, how amount of the head is available how amount of quantity of water is available on the basis of this point the all the designs are based in hydropower plant potential energy of water and kinetic energy of flowing water stream is utilized for generation of electric power so these things we already know in a hydropower plant the potential and kinetic energy of the water is used to produce mechanical energy in the turbine and then this turbine shaft is connected with the generators in the generator mechanical energy is converted into the electrical energy therefore such station should be built where there is a advincent water is available at good head and a huge quantity of water is flowing across a given point means we need to select such a site where water is available in good quantity and even they are stored up to the good head means we are stored the water in a dam in a higher head okay so this type of the site is most suitable why these head and quantities are more required okay because in the principles of hydro power plant we derive one equation that p is equal to rho g q h means power produced by the hydro power plant is directly proportional to q and h means the more quantity is available more head is available then we are able to produce the more power okay that's why these points are important estimate should be made about the average quantity of water available throughout the year and also maximum and minimum quantity of water available during the year means before selecting the sites we need to check how amount of the average water is available throughout the years okay and this is depend on this catchment area so we need to take the data from the past 50 to 100 years of the rain data how much rains are coming in this catchment area okay on the basis of that they are defined the maximum quantity and minimum quantity of water available during the year these details are necessary which details are necessary maximum and minimum quantity of water de details are necessary to decide the capacity of plant and to decide the peak load plant such as a steam diesels 
or a gas turbine plant generally this hydro power plant is used as a peak load power plants okay and suppose they are used as a base load power plant then we need to decide the peak load power plant that are used with the hydro power plants and to provide adequate spillway or gate relief during the flood periods means when the water level are increase means the dams are overflow at that time we require the spillway and the gate to relieve the waters so these things are provide on the basis of the data of maximum and minimum quantity of waters now before moving on the second points i request to like the video and subscribe my channel for watching the more video related to pp ap or other subject of this mechanical engineering for power plant engineering various link is provided in descriptions as well as in a car for other subject i request to visit the playlist second point water storage okay so in the last point what we discuss availability of water now water is available then how we store the waters okay so this is the second point is the water storage the output of hydro power plant is not uniform due to wide variation of, of rainfall Okay, means output of the hydro power plant is change on the rainfall and to have a uniform power output water storage is needed so that excess flow at the certain times may be stored to make it available at that time of the low flow means we need to construct the dam in the flow of the river and we need to store the water to select the site of the dam careful study should be made of the geology and topography of the catchment area to see if the natural foundation could be found and put to the best use okay means we need to check the data of the catchment area in the catchment area what is the minimum rainfalls maximum rainfalls okay and we also need to do the topography analysis for water storage third point is the head of water means if uh, water is stored then up to which height this water is stored that is point number 3 is the head of water in order to produce requisite quantity of power it is necessary that large quantity of water at the sufficient head should be available okay so this thing we already discussed the power output of the plant is depend on the two main factor that is the q and h means if the higher head is available then the higher power is produced if lower head is available then the low power is produced an increase in effective head reduce the quantity of water to be stored and handled by penstock turbine its and therefore capital cost of the plant is reduced the level of water in the reservoir for a proposed plant so always be within the limit throughout the years means level of water is available throughout the years to some minimum levels or some maximum levels fourth point is the catchment area the reservoir must have a large catchment area so that level of water in the reservoir may be not fall below the minimum limit required in a dry seasons means area behind the lamp is the larger is required okay means the river is started from the certain place okay so location of the dam means distance between the dam and the origin points of the rivers are larger that means we have the large catchment area okay so this is called as the catchment area means larger the catchment area more water is coming okay smaller the catchment area the quantity of water available is the lowers next point is the availability of land and type of land the land to be selected for the site should be cheap and rocky in order to withstand the weight of the dam large building and heavy machinery okay so when we construct the dam the weight of the dam is very high okay because lots of concrete and steel are used to construct the dam okay so available land have a proper stand means the rocky lands are required and the land is available at the lower cost the rock should be strong enough to withstand the stresses transmitted from the dam structures as well as the water store in the reservoirs okay so these waters and the construction of the dam is create the some stress on the land so land is required or a land have a enough strength to absorb these stresses
that's why the good strength is required and the land available required at the low cost six point is the distance from the load center so what is the meaning of load center means the distance between the power produce to the power supply is called as the load centers the side where hydroelectric plant is to be construct so will be near to the load center so that cost of power transmission is minimized okay means if the damp is installed near to the load centers then the transmission line cost is reduced most of the time the electric power generated in a hydroelectric power plant has to be used some considerable distance from the side of plant for these reasons to be economical on the transmission of electric power the route and distance should be carefully considered since the cost of erections of transmission lines and their maintenance will be depend upon the route selected means if electricity is supply near to the dam okay or near to the hydro power plants then the lots of cost are reduced means maintenance cost is reduced initial cost of the transmission line is reduced and uh, the various power losses are also reduced and the last point is the accessibility of site so it is always a desirable factor to have a good access to the site of the plant and this factor is very important if the electric power generated is to be utilized at or near the plant site means it is very good if the electricity produced is utilized at the sites or near to the plant sites the transport facilities must also be given due considerations means transport certain transportation facilities are required because to supply these uh, different concretes and uh, sands and that are required for the constructions steels are requires we need to transport the various machineries that's why we require the proper accessibility of the sites so thank you for watching this video if you learn something then like the video subscribe my channels and don't forget to share with your friends